Hello everyone, in this video we'll be looking at the drawing module, which is a module you can use to make changes to the way nodes are drawn in the node graph. Let's start off by adding some prune nodes into our scene, shut them around, connect them up, and select them all. And we're going to store these nodes into a variable called nodes, and we're going to use the node graph API and say get all selected nodes. Run that. Now I'm going to hop over to our drawing module and we're going to use this auto position nodes. And we're going to run that on our selected nodes. And look at that, they're all nicely positioned. Okay, let's undo that a sec and we're going to add in some more. Okay. Node going down here is a different branch. Yeah. Select them all and just run the same code again. See, it even branches them out for us nicely. Okay, so one thing to bear in mind though is when it creates these nodes, it's always trying to find a space for them. So if there is nodes in the way, it's going to go around them. And I can demonstrate this by running a loop of code to create lots of prune nodes. So we've done this before where we've used a range loop and we create a node and connect it to the previous one. And now I'm going to use the drawing module to auto position these nodes that get created. I'm going to run this. See there's our nodes and it's kind of got this little branch off here. And I'm going to run it again, again, again. And you can see as it's creating these nodes, it always makes sure but it's not touching any others. That's something to bear in mind if you're using this auto position nodes, that's how it works. Okay, so we don't need all these prune nodes, let's clear up a little bit. And I'm just gonna grab this initial one here, bring it over here and I'm gonna store it in a variable called prune. Okay, now the next thing in the drawing module we can use it to set the custom color of a node. It's like how you would in this menu here. We're gonna set it to be red. So we're gonna say our prune node is going to be one for red, zero for green, and zero for blue. So let's run this. Oh, nothing changed. Why is that? The reason is that we need to redraw this node graph now. To do that, we're going to use the node graph API. Set needs a redraw, and set that to true. When we run this, aha, our node goes red. If we want to clear what we've done, we can use drawing module again, and we can say remove custom color for our prune node. Run this, and again, we need to set the redraw to true, and it goes away. Okay, let's just add it back to being red again. Now you may have used this other option here which uh, copy node color to link color. So any of the links will then be color coded as well. And we can do that in the code here. So we can say drawing module dot copy node color to link color for our prune. We run this and again, it's not going to change until we give it a redraw. Now our arrow is lovely and red. Another handy one here in the drawing module is the ability to fit backdrop nodes around nodes. So let's take our nodes and select them all. And we're going to store it again into the nodes variable. You can give it a backdrop node that you've it's already created. I don't have one, so I'm going to give it as none. And you can set the padding of this. So theme is a bit tight, so let's make this 50. And this sells a backdrop mode around our notes. Very nice. Okay, uh, there's also a nice little cool feature for adding icons to nodes. So say for example, I make a variable enabled group node. It has this nice little icon next to it. 
Let's see if we can add an icon next to our prune node. I've made a cheeky little smiley face uh, in an SVG file. So we need to first of all register this. To do that, we're going to use the drawing module like so. Drawing module dot node world underscore load scene into node graph SVG manager. So it's going to load our smile icon and I'm going to give it the name of is smile and its path is in node graph slash smile dot svg so you can give your own path here and then i'm going to give an opacity of one it's fine and i'm going to run this i'm going to add it to my prune node so i'm going to say node graph api dot set node shape attribute and I'm going to give it the node of my prune node and I want to change the icon name to be icon of smile and that nothing changed because we need to tell the node graph to update but this time we're going to use the utils and run the event module and we're going to queue an event the event type is going to be node underscore set shape attributes we're going to give it a hash of our room node and we're going to set the node to equal room Okay, so you use the event, the uh, queue event to uh, create an event that needs to happen. So it tells you here that you know, the event type, the event ID, all that kind of stuff. And uh, we're going to run this now. And it's been queued in and it's created our lovely smiley icon next to our prune node. Okay, 